I was sent this little red airbrush all the way from Spain. So this is another little product review of this Sagola X-Tech 300. This was a airbrush that was designed in Spain, but now they are available in the US. So they reached out, they wanted to send me one and wanted me to test it. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren, this is DJB Studios. I am a professional model horse artist and I've been airbrushing since 2017. Model horse customizing takes a lot of finesse, a lot of detail, and because of that, I need my airbrushes to perform. So I've been running these same two airbrushes since I started my airbrushing journey. The Eclipse runs for around $200 and the Micron runs around $600. So this Sagola airbrush, it's pretty decent. I honestly really liked it. So if you watched my other video, I also tested quite a few products from the Amazon company Gallery and this guy was sent around the same time. So I was testing both of them kind of simultaneously. Both are very comparable. These are not surpassing my Awada airbrushes in any way and I still will pick my Awada over anything but this was a good one to have like in a pinch. I found that it was a little more reliable than the gallery ones I had at the time. I think I would recommend it over the gallery ace. So it's a 0.3 millimeter needle that's spraying out of there so it's very similar to my Iwata Eclipse, and I would say that it performs very similarly. It runs very smooth. It's got a very smooth trigger action, and that's like the biggest thing for me. Just dual action as well. So push down for air, pull back for paint. It has a little twist nozzle to control the level of paint. It's kind of weirdly deep in the cup, but it cleans out pretty good, and I found it worked pretty decently. So the only thing that I disliked about this airbrush was the crown is like very abrasive. And I think if you were painting something like too up close and you accidentally like bumped it or dinged it, this would like really wreck whatever you're painting. It would probably wreck your finger too if you jammed it hard enough. It's not sanded smooth and that's a bit of a concern. But the rest of it feels really solid. It looks really good. It performed as expected. The test was very uniform. It did really well with the golden paints and it liked both air pressures with that paint. Vallejo labored a little bit on pushing that out, had a bit of sputtering and I'm not surprised by that. Vallejo's really thick. And it did really well with the gallery paint that I threw through it as well, which is a little more of a liquidy paint. So a little bit more watered down paints worked better for it. But I do recall spraying quite a few metallics and things through this airbrush. I painted a lot of Tallulah with this airbrush because I needed to test it and my Eclipse was clogging a bunch. So I used this one and it did a, a really decent job. I wouldn't trust it to paint highly detailed model horses, but it did a very comparable job to the Eclipse and it felt very smooth and very consistent. You can purchase these airbrushes on the Sagola website or on amazon.com. This is around $200 to purchase and if you're interested the link is in the description below. I would say that this guy works really really well. I found I liked it in comparison to the Eclipse. I think I liked it a little bit more than the gallery products and it has performed for me. I have reached for it. Thank you so much to Sagola for sending this to me and allowing me to review your product. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment below. You can always reach out through email. So all of those links are in the description below. Those links do help support this channel because I do earn a small commission if you click on them. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel so that I can offer you more airbrushing content. Thank you so much for watching. Happy airbrushing.